Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another reaction. So at first, sorry for the noise, but I just had to. It finally fits me after elementary school and thinking that I lost it, I found it again and it fits me. <laughs> so all day long, it'll be like... <laughs> but anyways, today, finally, we're gonna check out another song from the movie Egg Villain Returns. The movie I've been eagerly waiting for since the first movie Egg Villain. Y'all know it's my most favorite movie ever. I, I live that movie. We're getting the third song for the movie. It's the song Shamat. This song is very, very special. It's not only composed and sung by Anki Tivari, another singer is in here, female singer, and it's Tara Sutaria, everybody. I can't believe it. Finally, we're getting a Bollywood song sung by her. I've known for a long, long time. She's a really amazing singer. I've listened to her cover of um, the Javani song several times. I really, really enjoyed listening to her voice and also in some other songs I heard her sing and she's so amazing. She's not only good looking, a really beautiful person from the outside and from the inside. She's also so talented, so that's why I can't can't wait also to see more looks of the movie. I can't I can crack it. So that's why guys Let's watch I need in both hands This beauty Yes, Arjun, how can someone be so pretty? You can't believe it either. We're still getting a song with him, right? Standing off the outfits, I can't. She looks so professional in here. I can't with this movie! I absolutely can't! So, I feel like screaming, crying, laughing, everything at once, I absolutely can't. So at first, about the whole song, I want this video to be like half an hour long again. Anyways, so, the song itself, I absolutely love the competition, uh, the competition, <laughs> can't speak, I absolutely love the composition of the song, it is Wow, it sounds like a rock song, it's absolutely amazing. Anki Tivari, you can also hear that it is a song by Anki Tivari. He's so amazing as a singer, also as a composer in here, composition perfection. 
Then I love it that also Anke Tivari is singing here, like, these kind of songs are really made for him. I mean, he also did it by himself, so that's why they're kind of made for him. <laughs> but still, love his voice. Always have been a fan of his, and he's really so amazing. Then about our star, literally, Tara Sutaria in here. At first her voice, I absolutely love her voice. I still can't believe when she performs to that song, it doesn't look like it's her voice because her voice sounds so angelic and light and and she really slays those high notes like I can, her vocalization perfection. I know she is a trained singer. That's why obviously she's an absolutely amazing singer. Um, but still what I can't quite tell you if I'm a huge fan of that or not, so time will tell only. Um, if I like the contrast of this rock song and Tada's voice to it, as it's a really, really big contrast of her really light and like soft and high voice and together with that rock thing, you know? Um, I still think it is a really, really unique thing and I like that, but I'm not sure if I really would stand this whole song, you know, as it's a really, really big contrast. But we'll see, only time will tell. Sometimes I'm like, this song's totally shitty, and then in the end I'm like listening to the song on the loop. Or it can also be the other way around, I'm like, oh my god, this song's so amazing, but I never get to hear it after the reaction again, because I'm like, then in the end, well, right now it's kind of average. You know, so it's always it always depends with me and time will tell if I will stand a song or not. So let's talk about the whole video. I absolutely can't with this. I'm dying. Okay, so at first, about this whole concert thing. I really love the visuals. It also reminded me again so, so much of Ashiki 2. I can't. Of course, story is different and so on. But still, you know, like, Muitsuri has his own style. And you just see things and you're like, yeah, this is made by Muitsuri. And I just love that so much about him. So I love this whole concert thing, Tara being the rock star in here and because she looks so so pretty and um, I also thought in her debut soon of the year that she'd play like the bitch, you know, and not Ananya because from the outer appearance I, if I had been the caster for this movie, I had switched those roles. Because from the outer appearance, yes, she's beautiful, yes, she has that innocence, especially in real life, she has that really, like, uh, elegance and, you know. But I feel like still from her face and all, she can really pull it off, and she also showed that in Tata, that she can let, like, her inner bitch out, you know? And uh, that's why I think we will also get to see that in here in the movie. And I absolutely love and we really need to appreciate this too, all of her outfits and in general her looks in here. In general her looks for the movie, but in here like all of her like concert outfits, really, really absolutely fitting, suiting for those festival looks. And I absolutely love and I want every single kind of outfit in here, I swear. First outfit kind of looked like country style, so really perfect for uh, a festival. So, uh, not bohemian, bohemian style, something like that, bohemia, I'm not sure how it's called, bohemian, bohemia, like um, hippie style. But at the same time, it also looks so much Indian, so it has that western, bohemian style, but at the same time this modern Indian touch, and that's mixed, and I absolutely love all of her outfits, especially the last one. She looked like modern Jasmine. This reminded me so much of her, like, also being cast for, um, 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 um what's it called? Aladdin? <laughs> for the Disney version. Naomi Scott got the role in the end, but still, she had been perfect for this too, Tara, so I can't. So all in all, really, really amazing. Also, yes, we also need to appreciate Arjun in here. I really can't. Mohitsuri really did it. Arjun Kapoor looks so handsome in this. I can't. There was this one look with the hair where I was like, mm, not there anymore. But all in all, he looks really, really handsome. I never, I never thought that Arjun looks so handsome. Like, he isn't ugly. No, he isn't. But in there, he's like, oh, Arjun, you look, you look really handsome. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, I can't. He also, and then, let's talk about the ending. I swear. Someone is going to die. I'm not sure. I really hope because we also got like these more commercial shots with with Bacha in here. This is also something where I hope that the movie won't turn out to be trash. When we get like these commercial things then with TikTok, Instagram. Like I know it belongs to our time now, but 
sometimes when they use that for movies it's not always the best so let's see also how it will be with Bacha if he really has like some small part in the movie or only like the song we just seen like in those snippets in the music video uh, we get another song with Tata Sotaria at least one song I know that probably also the one with Bacha I can't can't wait so all in all really impressed in this last scene like it, it's killing me I love it that they're playing with us that they don't know who's the villain here we probably only get one villain I hope so it'd be awesome if we only get one villain as the title also says that but anyways guys please tell me your opinion about this whole song in the comment section down below what do you think about it I could talk about this whole movie and those songs all day long but I don't want this video to be too long so that's why let's just check out the comment section real quick I could do this all day, guys. Oh, I could do this all day. But anyways, <laughs> come on! I have um, all. Oh, I don't have all day long. I still need to edit this. And we got oh, we got some PM. Tata's voice comes in a breeze of fresh air, purely magical. Period. So true. So so true. Still, um, really big contrast, I'd say, uh, for this whole rock thing. So people absolutely love Tato Sotaria. Anki Tivari is the most underrated singer of Bollywood. His voice has a charm. This is so true. It also sounds so intoxicating every single time. And he really slays those, um, how would I say this? These kind of rock songs, but at the same time, they're also sounding so sad and heartbreaking. You know what I mean? So um, melancholic. I'm not sure if it's the right, correct word, um, but melancholic. So people absolutely appreciate Tata for singing this. They're really proud of her. Finally she's singing. She has been singing since her childhood and really amazing. Obviously she has participated in lots of um, competitions too. I like Tata's look even though her dresses are western. They're still Indian because of those vibrant colors. I love it. She's looking fat. Not only because of the colors. Also in the end like how it was draped. I absolutely love it. I, at least want that last outfit it looks so amazing then with the black bindi there also still has a personality there and that Indian touch I love it I'm so in love with all of the outfits in here I can't so people absolutely love the song really I can't read out more I don't want this video to be like way too long still need to edit it you still need to get it the next day so guys I really hope you enjoyed this reaction so if you're new to my channel then check out my other reactions I mostly do Bollywood reactions because Bollywood is my life then if you haven't done it yet, then please follow me on Instagram. I post everything bottle related there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss anything in the future. Just if you want, of course. I'm not forcing anyone. And that's it. Hope to see you guys in another reaction again. Bye.